The polar bear has always been seen as a symbol of the consequences of climate change and the damage to their natural habitat due to global warming has been tremendous. Scientists have predicted that if we don't do anything to counteract the greenhouse effect, the polar bear could be extinct within a hundred years. The high rate of ice melt has become life-threatening to polar bears. Not only polar bears, but many creatures, including human beings, have also suffered from climate change. But why are polar bears threatened? Not because it's too hot to bear, which is the case for humans, rather it's because of starvation. Polar bears rely on sea ice to hunt seals, which are their major source of food. In some regions, sea ice melts completely in the summer, so polar bears come onto land and go without food until the sea ice refreezes in the winter and the bears can return to hunting. However, the sea ice is now melting earlier and freezing later, extending the ice-free period and therefore shortening the time during which polar bears are able to hunt seals. According to 35 years of Arctic sea ice satellite data from NASA, the ice-free period has increased by an average of six to seven weeks. It is clear to see that the rapid rise in temperature over just two decades is undoubtedly due to human activity. Carbon dioxide, CO2 and other major greenhouse gases have been trapping heat in our atmosphere and increasing the temperature. Most of them are exhausted by industries using fossil fuels and coal to generate energy, as well as in the manufacture of all kinds of products ranging from cars to shampoo. Other crucial gases like methane, CH4, and nitrous oxide, which derive from modern agricultural processes and landfills, can also have negative effects on the environment. Greenhouse gas emissions from agriculture come mostly from the cultivation of crops, livestock and deforestation. It is estimated that livestock production accounts for 70% of all agricultural land use and occupies 30% of the land surface of the planet. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, have estimated that livestock production is responsible for 18% of greenhouse gases, even more than transportation. Such a huge figure? Can one person really put a stop to this or make any difference? The answer is yes. Scientists have put together a list of individual actions which have the most impact. Take a look through these simple steps, find out what you're already doing, then perhaps commit to adding two or three more actions. 1. Transportation. Use more public transportation. Walk or ride a bike and support community bike lanes. Drive more fuel efficient vehicles or drive in more efficient ways. Avoid idling in traffic. Contrary to popular belief, idling for just 10 seconds wastes more gas than restarting the engine. 2. Home and work. Use energy efficient, for example Energy Star, appliances and equipment. Turn appliances off when not in use or use low-tech methods when possible. For example, line dry clothes. Use no more water than needed. And why not invest in your own solar power or try to use other kinds of renewable energy? Three, dining. Vote with your fork. Consume foods that are minimally processed and packaged. Purchase foods grown locally and organically on small scale farms. Avoid products that result from tropical deforestation, for example, palm oil, coffee that isn't shade grown, South American beef. Consume less meat by eating at least three to five meat-free meals per week. When consuming meat, support pasture-fed beef, free-range poultry and sustainable wild seafood rather than CAFO, concentrated animal feeding operation meats. Four, consumption. Be a conscientious consumer. Minimise consumption. Reduce, reuse and recycle. Avoid products with excessive packaging. Research vendors and buy from those with sustainable business models. Five, social interaction. Communicate the facts about global warming to friends and relatives. Encourage members of your social circles to adopt sustainable lifestyles and lead by example. Vote for political representatives who recognise that our carbon-based society isn't sustainable and who will work to establish more renewable energy. 
Join environmental campaigns, exercise your rights as citizens and speak up for bold leadership on climate change in your own country and around the globe. The US is one of the world's biggest polluters. No matter where in the world you live, urge the US President to set a fair price on carbon. Sign petitions asking for a fair price on carbon. This will level the playing field for renewable energy and speed up the transition from fossil fuels. By getting everyone involved with small, simple and smart actions in everyday life, together we can make a massive difference to our own planet. So, shall we commit today?